Okay, today is stencil day and it's taking me a little long. I've only gotten one stencil and a half up. The inspiration started with this stencil. They call it the Turkish poppy. It's also known as the marigold stencil. And in Indian culture, you can see this symbol printed on a lot of fabric and it symbolizes auspiciousness and the divine. How could I go wrong to use this in my primary bedroom? But the hardest thing first was to figure out the color scheme. What do I do with the color? Because I wanted to keep the base coat, which is kind of a grayish, in part because I'm completely lazy and also because I still really like the color. Here are the, the options for color. I kind of did some samples. So this is what I would typically go for. Citrus lemon, which I always love that yellow. And what if I go orange and mauvey pink? So those both could work. And then I think I hit on the combo that I love the most. Okay, drum roll please. The final colors are Sleepy Blue by Sherwin-Williams and Turmeric by Benjamin Moore. I love these colors together so much. I'm going to be starting on this wall and uh, the very first thing you want to do when you're stenciling a large wall like this is to find the center. Now what's weird is that the windows are not in the center of this wall, but my center is more like here. So. I'm still going to be using that as my center and I'm hoping that it's going to still even out at the ends. So I'm trying to get a rhythm down. So basically I've got my paint set up here. In the kitchen, I have a box where I can spray my stencils with spray mount adhesive and not get everywhere. So I put it, I'm kind of putting in a little boxed, boxed up station. I ordered one set of stencils so that I can swap out, clean one, let it dry and then still work. So in my kitchen, I set up a box. I taped all three sides of the box and left this side open. And that's gonna be my spraying station, my spray adhesive station. I'm gonna use Elmer's spray adhesive. This is the brand that the stencil designer suggests to use. Once you spray, then wait about three minutes before adhering to the wall. It's still at a tacky stage, but not at that really strong adhesive stage. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, three minutes are up. It's feeling kind of tacky. I think that's what we want. Now, let's bring it over. You're still going to use painter's tape to keep the stencil in place on the wall. So I'm gonna center that line inside the stencil. I decanted some of the paint into just little plastic cups because I'm going to work a little bit at a time with the paint. I didn't want it to all dry up. I'm going to use stipple or stencil brushes which have a flat head on them. And if you haven't stenciled before, you stencil not by painting on the paint, but by dabbling or dabbing the paint on. And you'll see that plenty when I, when I get to do that. Okay, so I have paper towels everywhere because you want to use a what's called a dry brush technique with stenciling. Once you dip into the paint, you are going to take your paper towel and dry off the excess, and then you're going to be stippling or dabbing on the paint onto the stencil. You don't want a wet brush. The paint might seep underneath the stencil and you'll get a lot of bleeding. On the first one, I was too heavy handed on the paint. So now I'm gonna just be a little bit lighter with it, but I think it's, uh, it's going well. Okay.
Usually when you're using a repeat pattern with a stencil, the stencil will have what's called register marks so you can match the first stencil to the second stencil to the third stencil, etc. For my design, I wanted to offset every other Turkish poppy flower on the wall. So I had to figure out my own math and figure out the distance of each one and how I wanted to mark the wall so that I would have it equidistant each time. So the basic rule that I can tell you is that when you're working with one stencil, before you remove it, make sure you mark each corner so that that's going to be your register mark for the next one. I'm just creating my own logic. So the bottom of the flower on the right is going to mark where my second row will start. Okay? All right, here we go. So I've only painted four stencils, but I'm so excited. I really love it. I hope you guys love it too. But it's so funny, sometimes when you do a project, you know immediately that you're gonna love it. And then sometimes it takes until the end to feel good about it. But uh, I am loving it. Okay, keep on going. This is the most satisfying part. Ta -da. Ta -da. Okay, here's a progress report. This is day two. I made a little mistake with the alignment of the pattern and had to redo the right side. I did not film it because I was just very disappointed, but it's okay. Just gonna keep on going. I'm gonna show you what to do when you get to a corner or you get to the side of the wall. First thing I do, sometimes when you buy stencils, some of the better stencil companies will offer half stencils so that you don't have to do any bending, but I don't have that. Okay, so I've just put a piece of painter's tape so that there'll be no paint getting onto this side. And then you kind of just have to manipulate, you just have to manipulate the stencil into the edge. So I've got, I've got my markings here. So first thing I wanna do is make sure that the markings are correct right here and here. Put a piece of tape here. And then you just have to kind of, because you don't want to tear the stencil. After painting with the stencil three or four times, you're going to find that you need to clean the stencil off or the paint will start to dry and get kind of gooky. So that's why it's important to buy more than one of the same stencil so you can switch off. The stencil company suggests using a product called Simple Green to clean your stencils. Okay, everybody, I wanted to check in with you. This is part one. This is how much I've gotten covered in the first week. I still have to paint a little bit in the middle. I haven't even started painting the adjoining walls. But I'm really loving what I'm seeing so far. The color choice on the wall will make sense once you see more of the linens that I'm adding to the blue. There's still so much more to do, so make sure you stay tuned for part two. Having you with me makes it so worth it. If you like what you're seeing, would you mind liking and subscribing this channel? That way you really support me and all that I'm trying to create and share with you. Thanks so much. Bye. See you next time.